Seeing that I've been rolling up the Wii joints in the past several videos, I decided to sell all these packs to a dealer's barn just outside of town. They can also help me build an underground bunker to grow things, which I'll try to get that going in this video. Hey guys, it's Trice here, and let's start our Saturday off, which we're in the middle of a Saturday. So as you can see here, I've been trying to roll up as much of the joints as much as possible up in here. And currently, I got 9 in place, and we need 12 to sell all these to dealers to gain some trust with them, and to basically do business with them. So let's grab the harvest basket that I got gold here, is because there's a lot of these plants I got available that are pretty much ready to be harvested, like these here, including the ones in the end that are at... Oh, they're finally good. Before, before I started this video, I tried to water these because they were all at 99%, but now it's all complete, so let's just get to the harvesting. Right this instant, I guess. Try to get this over with. Hope to God that this is all 12 that I need once I get all this taken care of. So let's do the grinding. Boom. Boom, you know the drill. So here is we number 10. Okay. We still got all 10 despite that little blunder right there. So let's just keep grinding and get this out of the way. Keep grinding and keep harvesting. But what I do know with the underground bunker, well, unfortunately, I think you have to wait like an in-game week or something like that to get things going because the bunker, I believe, is like underneath this tub or whatever. Because I thought it would be at the cottage where they tried to build the bunker, but ended up failing because the police were called or whatever from the previous owners. And they ended up canceling their bunker, so the only place we could put a bunker is underneath our house and not the cottage that I bought in the past, like, five videos, my episode, something like that. Alright, so I, now I believe I got all 12 of the joints up in here. So I got 4 there, 4 there, 11, and 12. So we're good to go on that, but I still got a few more left available before we actually start to sell the things at the barn outside of the town. I mean, sure, I could pretty much just take the weed right now and then use this as a stress reliever in game to lower my anxiety. Timber. Wait, I could take this right now and to cure my anxiety once I get high or whatever. On the anxiety needs or something like that, but since it's not in hard difficulty mode, I don't really need to do that. If I were to have been in hard mode, I would definitely have a pack with me and then just smoke away until the anxiety just drops down so you don't die of anxiety needs on hard mode. Alright, before we head out, let's not die again like the last video. Drink some of that maple syrup because we don't want to be on the side of the road or have our friend Martin just abandon me like last time. Because he isn't a good friend, because I did the Demolition Derby in the last video, Mombazool, and once I did the Demolition Derby, got my trophy and got like $2,500 or something like that. I was getting very low on my maple syrup needs and I ended up dying at the racetrack, but I tried to call my friend Martin to give him a ride. I gave me a ride back into town or whatever and buy some maple syrup to cure my needs. I guess I waited a little bit too long and he done abandoned my ass, which she just basically left me out for dead. Now I got the maple syrup needs cured, I don't think it's gonna happen in the near future. So here's the lumber yard right up in here, so up ahead is this little bridge, I'll probably show you right here. So where it says continent on the top portion of the map, that is where the other side of the map is through this bridge, the sprawling bridge. We're gonna of course drive on the other side of the island here, and pretty much down this little region where it's not shown on the map, is where the barn is at. Should I have made a right right there or no? Oh, but... <laughs> We got a freaking invisible, quote unquote, invisible wall dead ahead with these damn locks in front of me, like it's a freaking cell phone screen lock or whatever. Well, we can't go there. Let's see if we can get anything down this road. Because it's on a dirt road as far as I know, so I think we just take any of these roads until we lead up to a dirt road or something like that, but they do close at 20 hundred hours, so about 8 o'clock in game, so we gotta hurry up and sell this all to them and do some business and get this over with. Okay, here's the bridge again. Where the hell are you guys? Where are you, man? Here's the same road again. Okay, so here's a dirt road. I believe this is the dirt road you take to get up to the barn, so I gotta hurry up because at 1900 hours, Every second is a minute in game, so I gotta hurry my ass up right now. Okay, here's the barn, right in front of my face. Here's the barn, so let's pull up, up against... Can I just drive through this? Whoa, here we go. Yeah! Now, the minimum we buy is 27 packs. Seems like we could do business together. Barn is open to you, 10 to 12 H. So, um, e-break. Let's buy 
stuff right now because we got 40 seconds left to go. Let's hurry up. Let's just buy the bunker. Hey guys, um, the guy who's been selling the weed to you and... Okay then, you got a hot box going up on here, so, uh, allow me the lit. Yeet! Bah! -ha -ha. Man, you high. Sebastian, just be casual, man. Dave's? Feels like I'm, I'm auto spoken. <laughs> Bobby! What it do, flight crew? FTC flight team said, oh, okay, uh, bunker. Start right now? Yeah. And what do you got here? Harvest baskets? Yeah. Uh, store is closed. <laughs> well, just in time, we got ourselves a huge harvest basket and access to the bunker. Six to seven nights to be built. Well, your boys are now gone. No longer hotboxing, 30, 50, 70, 90. The speed limit signs, oh, we da da, our home and native land. I'm not Canadian, I'm an American. And also, it's about to be midnight Sunday, so... $25,800 for my maple syrup operations. Not that bad. At least we're back to $40,000-ish, pretty much about the cost of what I paid for the bunker. The bunker was $40,000 to pay to get that working, to get that going. And of course, I know the bunker is where you do the underground growing operations instead of doing it all above ground behind my house. Being surrounded by the outside world, the infestation of pesticides, and you watering it manually and all that good stuff. With the underground bunker, it pretty much irrigates or waters by itself. You don't have to worry about pesticides anymore. And I believe, yeah, speaking of pesticides, we got two right there. Are they starting a building operations? <laughs> I think they're building underneath where the bunker is at. The freaking hammering and chiseling and this and that is -ing. And pesticides, GTFO, other pesticides, GTFO. Alrighty, it's a new day and seeing that I need to get back my trophy at the racetrack. I might as well help to the track right now. So how do you do ignition on the do buggy? Good. Let's get up there right now. Alright, so for my trophy at the racetrack, where I died the last time, let's grab this as I got freaking Parkinson's again. Will this fit? Or do I have to, like, carry this? I mean, this is... What? Oh, almost a perfect fit, but... Fair enough, let's hope this doesn't fly out. Also, for this Doom Buggy, it's pretty quick, but this thing loses control real easily, no matter if you're on the dirt or on tarmac. As you can see, my anxiety needs, it's like maxed out right now because of my driving behavior of how this thing, like, handles and all that stuff. So I got an understeer right there. Second gear. I missed the entrance. I'm gonna say the Doom Buggy, the first gear goes up to 98 miles per hour, kilometers per hour, which is about 60-ish miles to the gallon per hour. Don't... you do it. Damn. Another close call, almost got myself in the drink again. Well, as I was trying to say about this doom buggy, well, we're going 200 kilometers per hour, fifth gear, 220. And it loses control pretty damn easily when you, like, steer just a little bit. It's got some low-speed understeer and chickens, somewhat of a high-speed oversteer. Alright, safe and sound, we got the trophy as I barely, I mean, barely kind of sway up in here. So, where can I put this, like, on my... Dresser, I guess? Put on my dresser, and don't you do it. God damn it. Alright, seems straight enough. Now it's locked. There we go. And for the bunkers, it's gonna take about a week up in here. I might as well just pretty much skip through all this, like do some save skips on the computer or the game console here. Just do some save skips until this is all complete up in here. Then we can take a look at this bunker and buy the french fry press and end this off. So let's just do the save skips right here. One eternity later. Yeah. Yeah, we just completed the bunker. You should look at the drain in your bathtub. Well, let's check it out. It's first things first. Ooh, I took a big gamble with my maple syrup needs. I'm just doing all the safe skips and all that stuff. So drink the syrup, eat the poutine, and see what we got here. So now the damn bathroom door is closed. Because before, wasn't this like broken this door or something like that? Kind of interesting. Not only they have the door, when you take a pee pee or poo poo. This door is going to hit your knees or something like that, or hits your ass. So, open. Mm-hmm. Yep. The bathtub is now a secret door. Well, who needs a shower or a bath anyway, so... We got a problem here. Oh, despite that little sharp slab of stone or... What? 
however, we got what appears to be a switch. The bunker, hey. So pretty much of a drastic like change of lighting here. So going from upstairs, boom, insta daylight, go down to bunker, boom, insta nighttime. So going over here, we got auto fertilizer reservoir, 0%, and system de side de irrigation system. And we bought, uh, got three outdoor planters. So we need the planters like at the decoration store to get things started. Okay, here, that's interesting. So let's put all these three in a line, just starting off right now with our planters. All right, the cannabis so so the three. One, two, three. And also seeing that I got a pack of, let's put this right here, of uh, fertilizer. I might as well put the fertilizer in here if that's possible. I'll show you. All right, fertilizer pack, 100%. So this is the fertilizer that I've uh, made at the cottage that I made off camera like a little over a week ago, like you know, IRL a week ago. So theoretically, we can uh, fertilize right here right now, but can you put this in the reservoir? Oh, 25%. Cool. And then at 10 a.m., this should not only water, but also fertilize these plants here. But first, let me take a selfie. Let's go to the little, well, I can turn this off right here. Let's turn this off. You have to turn off the auto watering system and have the decoration store and buy some more of those outdoor planters to actually get started with my weed operations. Wait, seeing that it's a Saturday, is she open on Saturdays, the weekends? If not, then damn it. All right, so what are the hours? You pussy. So it should open at 8 o'clock, but since it's Saturday, she's a pussy. Closed on the weekends. Well, seeing that she's closed, I might as well go to the barn, the dealer's barn, and buy the french fry press and just go from there. Alright, my smokers. I'm back again, but I ain't selling you weed this time. I'm buying the french fry press for 6k. Yeah, good shit, man! The machine has been delivered to your home bunker, yeah. It's also part of my to-do list, apparently. Okay, so the... It's still the french fry cutter. Is it in the bunker, I believe? The french fry press? Where is it? Oh, right here. So, what do I do here? Make a french fry pack. Not enough potatoes are nearby to make a pack, so it just goes boom and poops out a potato pack, I guess? And also, seeing that the cannabis seal is not, uh, has not been watered, let's turn this on and 2 p.m.? We'll water it right now. Nice. Jizzes and fertilizes and water. So what will that do? 20% of the fertilizer reservoir. So let me grab that huge harvest basket that I have right here and see what's it like just spamming the potato. 6%. Okay, that's that that's my type of harvest. Here we go. Here we go. We don't have to just like grab a couple baskets, run it. Look at that. I cleared out four rows already. Almost four rows, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, almost four rows. Yeah, instead of like grabbing just a basket, run inside and just go right here with the french fry cutter. Let's bring this bad boy downstairs and see what's it like doing this. So eat it there and... Oh, okay. Okay, so that's enough of the huge harvest basket because we got four more plants to go. Let's see if 97% of the regular harvest basket, will this package of french fries or have to use this right here? All right, will you work? Not enough potatoes. Yep, instead of doing this and this and this with the friggin' french fry cutter, I can use the one downstairs of the huge harvest basket and then just like chop away at my potato plants as I <clears throat> like chop away at my potato plants is going boom and boom with the huge harvest basket. Damn, 233 seeds. And to make the french fry packs downstairs instead of just doing it upstairs. So this will be much quicker doing it downstairs than it is upstairs. And I don't think I have enough to make a french fry pack because I had 97% in the last one and 91% right here. So the answer is nope. So might as well just go downstairs and start packing the potatoes or the french fry packs to the truck and sell these to the snack delivery center. Really? At least I still got my french fry pack, but I got rid of 90% of my damn french fries just by doing that. You serious? So, so those four harvests from those potatoes were just a damn waste. Are you kidding me? All right, so I got all my french fry packs in the back. And I also just noticed before I started to replant the seeds here to my potatoes. 
My cannabis yoso appears to be 100% complete for all of them, so I'm going to quickly harvest some of these and see what I can get from here and then sell the french fries. But first, let me do this real quick and do it from there. So I managed to get five of the big Wii joint packs here and I believe six of the regular ten joints up in here. So, not too bad of a harvest, yeah. And let's see what it's like trying to use the huge package. How many do you need to do the huge package thingy? Not enough weed close by to build that pack. How many do you need? Alright, is five enough? Nope, guess not. Alright, let's hurry up and try to sell this because in just a little bit, next couple minutes in game, or uh, real life minutes, is that this place is gonna be closed. Am I missing something or no? I forgot, I'm like driving the blind up in here with all this big ass load of the french fry packs with no lights on whatsoever at dusk time. Hey, Chef, I know you're open, but take these packs. I know it's a minute before it closes, but take these packs, please. Yep, he don't care as I'm just spamming away right this please instant. Like, you probably know, he has a limit, which I believe is 18 packs that you can sell for the day, which did I? Yeah, now I've exceeded, so the pallet's full. That's $3,600, and that's 19 packs, 20, and 21. So we got, uh... So we got 18 packs he sold for the day for $3,600, plus these three that will be sold, which is $600 by the next day, which is Sunday, which... I think he's open on a Sunday, right? Yes, he's open on a Sunday. Well, let's get back home and end things off right now. Well, despite not doing much uh, maple syrup operations, got $24,000 for um, my paycheck on this Sunday, which brings me up to a little over $68,000. Not that bad. So anyways, that'll do it with Mom Bazool with this frickin' bunker I got set up in here after getting some trust with the dealers just outside of town. Apparently, to run such a business like this, you need the outdoor- whoops, planters that you need these outdoor planters from the decoration store. Then you need to buy all these, and all these, and all these pretty much takes up this entire space here of either weed or potatoes or whatever you want to grow here in a controlled environment instead of growing it outside and outdoors. Well, hopefully this will be another good source of income instead of just solely relying on the maple syrup or french fry packs to make money in this game. So let's see if this will work in the near future. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.